Bubba Bluff Sponge Show. Uh, much love to TNA <laughs> uh, for canceling. Should I not be talking about this? No, you can talk about any, whatever you want. I think we should get to the bottom of it. Yeah, exactly. I'll tell you what the problem is. By the way, the Bubba the Love Sponge Show on Thursday, July 16th. Here's the problem we have, and I hope that Dixie Carter is listening to me in Orlando right now. Because you're overthinkers. By the way, uh, TNA, I have a ton of respect for, and Dixie is a friend of mine. But uh, it looks like now that I'm being, uh, you know, penalized, or you are, some overthinkers, 1 through 30, uh, basically are, are, is going to penalize uh, the parent company, TNA. Uh, Matt Morgan, who's a, a, a worker for you guys, a wrestler, uh, and my show, and at the end of the day, my listeners, because uh, I had a lot of good questions for Matt Morgan. Guy seven foot, uh, knows Brock Lesnar quite well. In fact, I'll be honest with you, the majority of my questioning, questions for Mr. Morgan were going to be the fact that he uh, trained exclusively and, a, and has a ton of interaction with uh, Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar, even by pop culture standards today, is a hot topic. And TNA has a pay-per-view this weekend. On and, top. They, and they happen to have a pay-per-view. Thank you. So what happened here? Well, like it's been a and, whole uh, confusing and, situation. And, and you, know what we're being, you know what we're guilty of? I'm guilty of. In fact, Brent, I think Dave, because I think I sent it to Dixie, they asked for the caller that called me yesterday. Now, if they're going, I cannot help who calls my show. In fact, I pride myself upon not really screening too much of the calls other than who you are and where you're from. And, you know, if, if, if now, Brent, I have to worry about uh, a client or a friend or a sanctioning body uh, editing and regulating my callers, then I don't have anything for you. Right. I, 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 good luck to you. And I, a caller called in yesterday, and I took a very pro TNA stance and made an allegation that I don't necessarily know is true. I've not gotten to the bottom of it, and quite frankly, it's not my business. Uh, it's about Karen Angle and Kurt Angle and something that Karen's doing. And I, you, you guys can find it for me. I'll play it for you. Everybody heard it. I've got it on my email. Well, for, then, then uh, you know, I might have it as well. And, you know, quite frankly, uh, Spice, uh, I thought that I took a very pro-TNA approach. Yeah, I mean, it's not like we, you know, accuse anybody or anything like that. Hey, we, we take the call. He said his piece. We don't know if it's true or not, and we moved on. And, well, now I'm assuming that... Uh, the reason why this uh, Mark Morgan guy, Ma I'm sorry, Matt Morgan, uh, was on his way here. So he was on his way. No, he was well, on his way, yeah. I'll let, you know what? I'll actually let Brent uh, take, uh, you know what, Brent, it won't let me play it. It says I need a web-based, some kind of program to play it or something like that. Mm -hmm. and it's an MP3 and it says, yeah, it's not letting me play it. Dave will, Dave will be able to, you know what, Dave will be able to have it on my button bar here soon, I promise you. Uh, anyway, Brent, tell uh, Dave, put it on my button bar, lower bar, if you could, please, buddy. Uh, anyway, Brent, I'll let you tell the story. We were supposed to have Matt Morgan, wrestler, TNA extraordinaire, uh, in the studio as we speak to talk about this weekend's pay-per-view. 25, uh, come to the studio so, I can, so we get this right. Oh, okay. Yeah, because 25 got calls on it. Yeah, today. because 20, he, Matt called 25 back in the office and said, listen, I'm on my way. I might be about, you know, uh, 10 minutes late. I might get there about 8, 10, 8, 15. Oh, 25, tell them a story. Hell, ye. Which is... 25, which, did you get a story? Call, ye. ye. Which, is, which is fine. Well, you know, think, first of all, the guy was running a little bit late, and he called. I don't got a problem with any of that. Yeah, that's fine. Most uh, people don't even call. Yeah, most people just show up when they, when they get here. So I was like, okay, that's, that, that's no big deal. And then uh, I get an email from Ross. Now, the main TNA guy that does this is in Ireland right now. That's part of the Mike? problem. Uh, no, Stephen. Oh, okay. Um, he's in Ireland. That's part of the problem. Um... So I get an email uh, this morning from the guy that's doing this while he's gone, or I don't know what it is. This guy's name is Ross, and he tells me that Matt Morgan is sick and he can't make it in. Well, meanwhile, twenty-five well, Matt was on his way. Yeah, meanwhile, twenty-five's already talked to him. So th then this guy calls Matt Morgan and cancels the interview. This Ross character. Oh, okay. So Matt Morgan is on his way here. He and he's running about ten minutes late. So he calls up. So twenty-five, he calls you, right? Yeah, he calls myself. And he says, hey, I'm running a little bit late. Just want to let you know I'm on my way, but I'm running late. Yep. Okay. He said, okay, hurry up. Just get you, get, get here. So then, <clears throat> all of a sudden, he calls the office, the TNA office, and says, hey, I'm running a little bit late for Bubba's show, but I'm on my way. I'm, I'm, you know, no bubbles, no troubles. No, I think the office called him and canceled it. Oh. So yeah, this, I, this I got a, what, what happened is I got two missed calls. I got a missed call from him, from Matt, and I got a missed call from Ross. 
So I called both of the numbers back, and Matt was on the road. He couldn't hear me on my cell phone, so I called him from the office number in the back. Dave, are you putting that on my button, Barb? Oh, I see yeah, they, they've got to do it. I am. It's the MP3 quality version, though. I don't care. Okay. We'll have the cleaner one later, though. I'll get you this one right now. Thank, thank, just, put up, uh, just put it on my bottom button bar. Thanks, David. All right, so go ahead, guys. I'm sorry. So when I was when I called Matt, he was still on the road when I was talking to him on the phone. He said that um, he guessed he's not coming in because uh, Ross, I guess his manager or whoever with TNA, told him that we canceled with him. So I was like, I told him, I was like, well, I didn't hear anything about you being canceled on the show. As far as I know, you're still coming in. I thought he was calling because he needed directions or something. Right. And um, Thank you, Dave. I got it. I asked him for Ross's number. So I got Ross's number. I called Ross from the office line. Ross told me that um, Matt told him that he wasn't feeling good, so he couldn't come in. But well, Matt told me. It sounds like we have three different stories here. Yeah. yeah. So it was just like, you know, all right, both of them are giving me like, Two and, different and, stories. And, and, I believe and, the worker here. Well, hold on. At the end of the day, man, no, it, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to realize rocket scientists to realize why they're doing this. They don't want me to ask him any questions about the caller uh, that called in yesterday. Now, mind you, have I spoke of this since? And secondly, Spice, I took a pro TNA approach on this caller, saying, "Sir, uh, if I remember right, it's seven minutes and fifty-seven seconds long. I'm going to play it next." And their stupidity and their actions now warrant me to play it again. Like that, I want to. I want to talk to this. Uh, what's his name? Ross. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Ross. Ross. Because it seems his, to me I mean, he's, he's the one well, who's. And if I was Dixie, well, his boss is in Ireland. Ross. If I was huh. Dick, if I was Dixie Carter right now, I would be livid, saying you guys just made a somewhat of a sensitive situation even worse because now you've upset the guy and you stood him up and you lied to him. Yeah, that's the worst part is the lying. If you know, be be straight up. Yeah, I have plenty of organizations you know when I, I have plenty of organizations that's got a hold of you guys and they want us to stay away some for some topics. And you know what? All they would have done is politely have emailed Brit Spice Russ doesn't matter and said, you know what? With could you could you please do us a favor? We don't necessarily know that the the, the phone caller that was on your show yesterday if that was valid or not. We're looking into it. But for because we're talking about kids and because we're talking about people who work for our company, could we please not make that part of today's discussion? Instead, they're pretending that this and, guy's sick. Right. And I would have said, you know what, I don't got a problem with that because, you know what, I got because first and foremost, anybody who works for TNA should know that I got a lot of respect for Dixie and Dixie has been good to me. And I have never said a bad word about you guys and never would. Uh, uh, uh Samoa Joe's a friend of mine. Uh, Kurt Angle's a good friend of mine. Uh, I got a lot of friends there. And so for you to arbitrarily make this decision and subsequently lie about it, it, it and at the end of the day, man, to give us a 15-minute or a 10-minute window that you're canceling an interview that we've scheduled now for two or three days to promote your pay-per-view, on a, and, and you're doing the cancellation, uh, based on one a lie and two a phone call that I was pro TNA about. Now you've irritated me, and the phone call will be played again because well, I have to be able to to show people why you guys canceled and you're liars. Want me to try calling this Ross guy? Yeah, please do. And you know what would be? You know what, Brent? Sometimes, if you just man up and tell the truth, that goes a long way. You're so. Correct about that. You know, if he would say, if this Ross character would say, you know what, I made a bad, I made a bad decision, because I'm afraid that you are going to to grill this guy, this Matt Morgan guy, about the call that came through yesterday, and I don't know you, Bubba, and I, I, I made a, I made a bad choice. Now I don't got a problem with that. I'd be like, you know what, you did make a bad choice, but I, I appreciate you now telling the truth. But he won't do it. Well, he won't even answer the phone. You're, you're so right about that. I've had other organizations like the UFC and the WWE, when they have a problem with something, they pick up the phone and call my cell and say, hey, yeah. can you help me out here? We've had, you know, when we had wrestlers on WWE uh, after the uh, Chris Benoit deal, you know, we were asked, hey, listen, you know, it's a huge story. We don't uh, want you to stop talking about it if you need to be. But when you interview our wrestlers, we don't want them to have to be exposed to this right now. It's a, it, we're, as a company, we're going through it a lot right now, uh, and we're trying to move on, and we got a wellness program, and we're working on what went wrong here. And you can talk about it when you don't have our people on the air because we can't tell you what to talk about, and we're never going to tell you that. And it's just a story. It's in the newspaper. It's a very big story, very tragic one. But when you're interviewing our guys, we would prefer you not bring that up. And you know what? No problem. You know what? That's, that, that's a class act, and it's, and it's a requirement.